hey, welcome back to Pixelmator, and I am going to do today a tutorial on how to take a portrait like this, and you can take any image and turn it into, to give it a sketch effect, like a Crayola chalk slate type effect. So yeah, let's get on and do that. So I've selected the image that I want to do of myself, clearly. Um, yeah, get the fuck out of here, just joking. Um, and then I'm going to um, right click on my background layer at the top there and duplicate and do that again. And then I'm going to rename these layers by double clicking them. The bottom one, I'm going to call it bottom. OCD there, look out to have a little low. Um, middle layer, I'm going to call it mid. And have a guess what I'm going to call the top layer. Go on. Yeah, the top, I'm going to call it the top. It's so creative, it's crazy. And then I am going to deselect my bottom layer just by turning it off um, with the little checkbox there. So, I'm then going to go to my effects browser. Now, I think that the Pixelmator team should just add a sketch effect in the effects myself. And you wouldn't have to do it. Long way around, but it's not that one. Right. And I'm going to. Look, there's, there's many ways that you can apply an effect to what we've got here, right? If I've got it selected here, I can drag and drop it to there. I can drag and drop it to my canvas. Or the simplest way is just double click it. Okay, so, and that will apply it to whatever canvas you've got selected. So we've applied that, the invert effect, to our top canvas. I'm then going to go to blending mode and drop down and go to color dodge. And our screen will go white. Don't worry about it. We'll get there soon. I'm then going to go to my blurs at the top and go Gaussian blur and also apply that to my top layer, to my layers pane. And you'll see that I already get this um, type of sketch effect anyway. And I'm going to drag it to around nine pixels. Now, depending on what image, whether it's a portrait or a landscape image, or what image that you're doing, your Gaussian blur radius will have to differ slightly. But for this, for, for sort of portraits, just use nine, ten pixels in the radius. Um, and then I am going to go and grab into my um, stylize in the effects. So you can just go on effects and then stylize. But I'm just leaving on all effects and just scrolling through. And I'm going to go to stylize and drag some noise onto my top layer again and I'm gonna, this is going to be around 10 percent click ok um, and then I'm going to some rain drag some rain on there as well and I'm gonna make the rain at, a, at about 80 85 percent at the top and minus minus 124 on the bottom and then I'm gonna go to my middle layer and do exactly the same with the rain drag it onto my middle layer and leave the strength and the angle on where I add it to my top layer, okay? Click OK. And then I'm gonna turn, go back to my layer pane, and turn my bottom layer on. Keep my middle layer selected, and drag the opacity down to around 50%. To around 50%. So now we've got like this really cool sketch effect. Now we're gonna turn it into, so you can leave it here if you want to do, and, and this is your sketch effect. Now we're gonna turn it into like, a chalk slate type effect as well right so this is the sketch on its own now let's do the and i'm going to use the light leak so if you've not got pixelmator 2.2 blueberry then you won't have this light leak you could do it but i'm not going to cover it here in this one so i'm going to drag that onto my top layer my light leak onto my top layer drag it into my corner here and then change my light leak to vega now with the vega i'm going to drag it to sort of by his hair but this, this outer because this is how you make the radius bigger and smaller so you move the actual light with this big one in the middle i'm going to put it into the corner and then the radius make it bigger like this but i'm going to turn up the sunniness right up to 100 percent just drag the it doesn't really matter about where the radius is leave it there and then go to my amount and drag my amount up to about 57 percent on my amount and click ok now what I'm going to want to do, the vintage, which is next to our light leak, double click that and put it on my top layer as well. And all I want to do is drag my vignette up to 100%, leave it on normal, and my saturation, I want to drag that up to about 68%, and then click OK. And as you can see, we've got like a chalk, slate, sketched effect of Rocky Balboa. So yeah, um, hope that helps you out, and you can do it with any effect, and like I say, that you might just have to change a few settings like your Gaussian blur, 
the radius on that will have to be slightly different. But yeah, if you have any problems or have any questions, likewise, if you have any comments that is cool, please leave a link, uh, a like in the comments um, below. Thanks a lot for watching.